Hello again and welcome. This is Scott at Mechsoft. For the next few minutes, let's take a look at the profile milling capability found in a LibreCam. In this demo part, I'm going to create two simple profiling operations, one to clean up the diameter of this boss and the second one to profile the walls in this main pocket. So to get started, let's go to the Alibre Add-ons tab, choose Alibre Cam, then choose the Machining Operations browser which comes up on the left of your screen. You'll notice that I've already created four operations to face off the part and rough out the two pockets. To prepare for these two new profiling operations, I'm going to predefine the containment regions that I will need. One at the top of the boss and the other at the top of the pocket. So I will also bring up the Machining Objects Browser which appears below the Operations Browser. In the Objects Browser I will select the Regions tab and the Select Curves icon. Then pick the sketch at the top of the boss, accept that, and Curve Region 1 is created and is entered into the Objects Browser. I will now repeat that for the main pocket and will create Curve Region 2 in the browser. To create the first profiling operation, I'll select the Program tab, take the Two Axis option, and then the Profiling operation. For the containment geometry, I will use the predefined region Curve Region 1, which is at the top of the boss. Next I'll select the tool. I want the 26 millimeter diameter end mill, feeds and speeds, make sure I load those from the tool, the clearance plane, I like this option where the system checks the maximum or highest stock position and then I can add 6 millimeters to that for clearance. Let's go to the cut parameters. I want zero stock to clean up the walls completely. I want to make sure that the tool is climb cutting and for the cut side, since this is a closed shape, I'll choose this option and indicate that I want the cutter to start on the outside. For cut levels, the geometry was selected at the top of the boss. Make sure this option is set correctly. The total depth of cut down the wall is 12.7 millimeters, and I'd like the final cut level to be 2 millimeters for just cleaning up the base of the boss. That reduces the roughing depth to 10.7 millimeters. Let's take a look at the entry and exit. At the beginning of the path, I'd like the cutter to drop down in air and move sideways to engage the material. That's a 2D entry. First, a linear move, then roll into the material at a radius of 8 millimeters. At the end of the path, do the same thing. Remain at the level of the cut, a 2D exit, roll off the material at a radius of 6 millimeters, then a short linear move to give the cutter more distance before retracting to the clearance plane. So I'll generate the path and everything looks good except that I would prefer to have the entry and exit off the part over here at the 180 position. To correct that, I'll go to the Objects Browser, select Regions, then highlight Curve Region 1 and choose the icon for Select Start Point. I'll then select the 180 position on the region which will redefine its start point there. Notice that when the region is modified, the operation is flagged with a red marker that indicates that it needs to be regenerated. So I will regenerate this operation and now the entry and exit are where I want them. Next I'd like to profile the walls of this main pocket doing two passes, a semi-finish and a finish pass at full depth. But this time, I will modify the region start point first before creating the operation. I'll select Curve Region 2 and then pick the new start point on the region. Once that is done, I'll create a new profiling operation and select Curve Region 2 that I just modified. Now, since the tool, the feeds and speeds, and the clearance plane will all remain the same, I'll go to Cut Parameters. Here I want the side stock to be zero on the final pass. Climb cut, and since this is a closed region, I'll set the start point to be on the inside. To achieve two passes, 
I'll set the total cut width to be one millimeter and set each step to be one millimeter. Cut levels. The cut region that was selected was at the top of the material to be removed. I don't know the full depth of cut, so I will use this built-in analysis function to measure the height of the wall. I'll select the flat surface at the top of the wall and then select the flat floor at the bottom of the pocket. Now I will generate the path. Now I will simulate both paths and this will be the end of the demonstration. I hope this has been informative for you as you use the profile milling capabilities in a LibreCam by Mexsoft. Thank you.